everyone who decided to join to the cardio today. So they do the work again. So yeah, probably one of the video I explain a bit more about the cardio exercises of different type of and how to do uh, create your own system for burn some extra color and be super lean and super good looking. And yeah, so uh, the video probably not for watching, mostly for listening. Let's say so you can put your hands on on and let's get started. So today we'll discuss some really interesting topic, quite deep, I would say, and what have a lot of mystery, even from a scientist side. So we'll talk about uh, uh, false memory syndrome. Basically the same thing you can find with a various name, but million, let's say, more or less the same. And uh, it's what we can explain from a psychological way, but we have another one what uh, lately called uh, Effect Mandela would have less explanation and a lot of, let's say, mystery, magic and stuff would blow our mind. So basically it what was my point for discuss something what take your mind out of frame, make it think differently, something like make a small explosion up there. But anyway, any deep psychological talks is like mostly like a brain massage, let's say, just for making it keep thinking, especially in certain way where we usually uh, not think. So basically that kind of tradition help literally everywhere we can take uh, Sufis uh, in Islam or Buddhism or whatever Hinduism so from hundreds or even thousands of years before not only not only people who like into philosophy or whatever or a certain school people just came and discuss really deep and perhaps important things like uh, purpose of life and how certain things work about our memory, dreams, etc. and etc. So, okay, let me check. Is it works or not? Yeah, I'm still, let's say, if I said not good, probably I said nothing. Sucks in a make live video. Yeah, civilization probably not so good as well. I try to walk fast. So today I'm gonna down like about one, one and a half hour of walk. And before I walk up to the hill and was made a sprints for the hundred meter sprints. So basically quite good cardio. Okay, so let's come back to the first Memory syndrome, what it's that and how it works. So basically it have various explanation and still we can keep it on a shelf with a theory because not all of them prove and uh, statistic, I would say it's not that big. So what it is actually, uh, it when we remembered something and later on, it come up something really different. Let's say we always was pretty sure the door was green. And later on, we realized the door always was red. And all people around said, yeah, it was red in your parents' house and so on. Or you might be wrong with uh, how many seats was in a car, what brand of car it was or maybe name of the city or who is the leader been there. So you might be pretty sure it was one name, but in reality it was another name. So basically it was called syndrome of false memory. So we memorize a certain thing would never exist or seems like never exist. And uh, many explanations. Interesting, it might happen not only to the single person, it might be came to the group of people, but as I said before, it never done any um, statistic for big amount of people. So, it depends on what environment we grow up, uh, what education we have, 
our beliefs and so on. We're all thinking in a small, narrow way. And our mind, let's say, just in a small box. And we think by various patterns. There's another explanation why it's so easily someone can make our mind. Let's say with the advertisement, all of the media use it very well. Yeah, so if you think you are super smart, I hope so. Uh, in reality, I'm sorry to say that we're not really smart as a monkey, let's say. Our cortex quite small still. Yeah, I hopefully it develops. Yeah, it also about uh, our beliefs. Some believe it became from God, and other from aliens, and other from spirits who create us. Or you can believe it became from a monkey, but it doesn't matter. Uh, if you take our brain wave and a cortex size, we're not that smart, unfortunately. So basically, on any debate, on any deep philosophical, uh, I don't know, discussion, we just, uh, a little bit clever than a monkey who would just try to prove our point of view. And yeah, our uh, way of thinking, it have a long chain from uh, our childhood, what our parents teach us, what read, uh, what books we read, what education we had, and most of the information we even uh, never checked on ourselves. So we didn't prove it and we believe what we read. And after we might even uh, fight to death, for prove our rights and so on. And I'm not talking only about religion or other political or philosophical view or whatever. Yeah, unfortunately we cannot discuss such things on a YouTube or whatever because yeah, it's a free of speech. So I supposed to be really quiet about the concerned things. Uh, also, we think with a certain stereotype, what we create in our mind or someone created for us. It's same, the books what we read before and the movies we watch, a TV series or anything else. We have a lot of different kind of stereotypes. Another thing what um, make really easy to manipulate with our mind and our thoughts. So we have in our head like Scientists supposed to look like that, and a doctor probably supposed to look like that, and criminal, they look in a certain way, and a prostitute, they look in another way, and so on. And we have a lot of patterns. And certain patterns, sometimes, they create a false memory for us. Uh, our brain works in a certain way, he make everything uh, simplify it, and have certain systematic what is more comfortable for it, for not spend any extra energy. So if you will be a little bit more mindful, you can realize such things are still working. So uh, when you come back home, you always put key on a certain place. You put socks on another place. If you go to the gym or you work or another place, you usually use the self, uh, same shelves where you put your stuff and so on. So some people like to put the shoes on the left side and other people put it on the right. Right side, and if you do it opposite, you might have some cognitive dissonance. So basically, it was uh, Carlos Castaneda explaining in his book one of the really good practice, uh, what called control stupidity. So you do everything uh, in the opposite way as before, for be more mindful and be focused on this moment right here, right now. So if you put belt from a left side, you put it from a right side. If you do it with the right hand cooking, let's say, you do it with the left hand. If I walk forward, so I need to walk backward. And so you do everything like uh, opposite until you can make it like super crazy. So maybe you lay down, come to your home in a really unusual way. For sure, you will be really focused on that moment because you've never done it before. And if you want to make your brain works, let's say, so sometimes you like number 23 and you always try to find box with number 23. It's easy to memorize, break the system, make it differently. So you can use it uh, in anything, drive with the different ways. 
if you drive a motorcycle, try to take sometimes the car or the bicycle or so on, run in different places and the millions things you can do. So I just try to uh, give you a tip how it works and why we have a uh, false memory sometimes. Basically, it's a thousand of reasons and not only one person, like many person can have the same, but it's even more amazing, I would say. So it's our brain try to make everything simple and do everything in the same pattern over and over again, because it's complicated. It no need to spend more energy on it, especially for create new neural connections. It do it in the same way. So if it's something like you have a previous experience and we compare everything with the previous experience and we have a different experience. So if that woman was look like a single mom or a criminal or whatever, so probably it will hit our memory like, yeah, that woman might maybe was a criminal or drug addict or maybe single mom or mom, a lot of kids or whatever. And we don't know it actually was in that way or not. If we try to recall the memory, it tell us, yeah, that man was a criminal and that woman was drug addict or whatever. But in reality, it isn't, for instance. And it can be millions example. Or we might watch some movies or read a story let's say about some country you have no idea anything about. Mm, what about Libya in Africa or whatever, yeah? And you might uh, remember some details from a movie what pure imagination of someone and you might take it like for the real action when years later some discussions will start about Libya, let's say. Just for instance. And we have a lot of false memory, what we never proved, actually. Another uh, sad story, let's say, why we have that. We have a certain imagination and sometimes we create a certain things and we lie a lot, statistically from 20 till 50 times a day. We are big liars. We wanna look better from other side. We wanna people, think better about us and so on. We don't want to talk about our weakness. So we lie a lot. Of course, for have some benefits from it. And again, because of we lie a lot, sometimes we create a false picture. And after even worse, we believe in that. So maybe 10 years later, when someone asks you about a certain action or memory, probably you will say not was, wasn't real and what was your mind created or what you want because really often we see the pictures what we want to see but not what in real. Famous Osho who wrote a lot of nice books and make a big sect, let's say, got a lot of money. Uh, he made it really commercial mostly. He wrote in books something what you want to find. Like, okay, time to relax, no need to do anything, no need to practice, you already got everything, just relax and enjoy your life and so on. So convenient, right? And it works very well. Same like uh, kids or women, anyone actually. All right. Oh, no, no problem. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, thanks. Yeah, I found really cool, nice place up here. Always try to find really interesting place. I'm surprised people can speak English here. So, poor people, not educated, not true. Yeah, let's say uh, some woman or man, like another man or woman, we will see the things what we like to see. What it not in real, we can close eyes on the minuses and emphasize the pluses, whatever. And even the man, let's say, said to a woman, mm, I'm not sure about the marriages or having a kid soon. Still, opposite side, 
Will my accept it like yes or almost yes because one seed and give a lot of example of it. In other case, probably uh, it more from a criminal statistic. If someone read Lombroso, uh, not only him, have a quite good explanation, but let's take something from another day. Even probably when you saw the news or criminal stories on the TV or whatever, not all real, I would say, because some on the TV they created for looks better and so on, but some is pretty real. And sometimes it's get even like to the comedy. I'll give you an example. Let's say a car crash, for instance. And uh, police came and asked and uh, witnesses what's happened and whatever, what car it was, and etc. etc. So, first of all, what people will explain, it will be close to reality. But when they ask again and again and again, story might change. I mean, car come from that side, and after people say from that side brand of the car might be different, color might be different, and many, many details might be changed. Another thing, what quite sad, I just try to bring you slowly, if someone said all people is equal, mm, how I say it's not true? Yeah, some people lazy, some not, they not depend from a race or background. It, any country you can take, it's the same. Some people work really hard and they easily to get what they want, study hard. They really focus it on the way they're going. And some people they just don't want to do anything. They're in a different condition, no one equal. Same about our capacity. Someone really good musician from Bern, someone can draw in a really nice design and can do it naturally. Some people can study 10 years and still will be not on the same level. Same like some people on the age of 10 years old, they really good athletes already. And other people need training years until they get to this point when the kid running in 10 years old. And our brain size and capacity quite different as well. So, Try to give you a good example. So some people, let's say, have a quite small brain, and for them, a lot of details and everything like not really matter, and their behavior will be closer like to the uh, animal, I would say. And if they had a dinner with another person, let's say, woman who have a size of brain like twice bigger, she will be enjoy talking about the poetry and how the writer was really good about describing the feelings, it was really close to the reality and what the amazing pattern on the plates, what they eat in some really healthy food and sell it, what mixed with the sauces and make really delicious taste and so on. And what will be really no matter for another person who's sitting on another side probably have no clue what she's talking about and about the food, so it doesn't matter what kind of food it will be and to where it will be put it, it just needs to take a spoon or even hands or fork or whatever and just put food to the head for not feel hungry. That's it. So it might be like super dramatical difference. Of course, I make like quite bright uh, example, but it can be various um, size of the brain and how we use it as well. So difference can be really, really different. And some people, they speak on the same legend, uh, language and have a same background, but they will not understand each other. Look on the same thing and it seems like they talk on a completely different languages. So from a criminal statistic, the same stuff, same example. We have a car crash and they ask a witness and uh, people can say like so different things. Uh, sometimes, yeah, it's really like a comedy. One person said the car was big, another person said the car was small. One person said the car was green, another one said it's blue. And one woman said car come from the right side and man said come 
come, come from the left side and so on. It can be so different. So need ask a lot of people for be more or less, I mean, for create the picture, what happened in real, because some people who provide the details, they're not really focused and everything what they might create it in that moment, they just tell it. And it doesn't mean it happened in that way. And later on, they will memorize the circumstances exactly in the way they want, not in the way it was in real. So actually I can give you like quite a lot of different stories and explanation and different name of the theory, what today we call the syndrome of the Fels memory and different way why it might happen, what the doctors explain. But actually I want to talk a little bit about other stuff. Something it called uh, Mandela effect. Why Mandela effect? Uh, because he was died quite recently, but many people were sure he has died in a prison a while ago. And maybe it was like some fake article, so maybe some movie or whatever. And it's make a lot of mystery about. And of course, the really famous video from a collider who make, who bring even more mystery to it and even more hot discussion about for people who, let's say, look for alternative history, details, actions, whatever. And probably some people who just nothing to do and they just make a different articles with their own evidence for the certain things. What sounds incredible and uh, fantastic, I would say. But you know, our mind work uh, from a psychology way if you will be searched for something, you will find a lot of evidence, even if the two things will be contradicted. So one day you can focus on a plan A, and the next day on a plan B, and you will look for the evidence. For both of it, you will find a lot of evidence. And if it might be completely different, so it doesn't matter. So thinking mind will be always think about something, and Look in mind will be always look for something. It depends on what you will focus on. And it still, it doesn't mean it happened in a certain way. But uh, I don't know. I like different strange kind of uh, mind food, super uh, incredible series and so on, what people posted online. And yeah, we cannot prove it or deny it in theory. So we still can keep it on a shelf, what we can call perhaps, why not? But the idea was just to make explosion in your brain. So far, so good. Uh, in this case, I'll suggest you to watch some videos quite a lot. I even don't want any other one with my own research. I done my own research. What, yeah, it seems like something really, really strange happened. And I'm not only one, I read what people said on a different forums. Uh, I mean about the action and the false memory. What we got, uh, Mandela effect or whatever. It's actually a lot of different names you can find, but time to time it's change. And yeah, yeah not only I am, I had something. What I was pretty sure it was happen in that way. Yeah, like in Hinduism said, so only power we have is our memory. Same in Buddhism. So what power you have, you cannot remember your past reincarnation. So first of all, try to remember all of your dreams, all of your past reincarnations, and you'll be closer to know who you are. So memory is a great power, but this memory can play big tricks with us because it's really difficult to prove it wasn't real or not. Uh, let's say, I give you a big example. Star Wars movies, I was 100% sure about the certain lines because I watched it a lot of times. And now, a different, same some cartoons and uh, films and movies from my country when I watch kids, probably not even 10 times, maybe more, because they show it all the time. 
and some characters, some actions change for now. So it's mean I have some false memory as well. It's quite interesting. I was really surprised. And when I search a bit more online, so yeah, as I work on it, you I know also have, let's say, some cartoon or movies. They have a few varieties and sometimes they not fit the time and they cut it and maybe it will be better or maybe something can sort and they leave it like that. So you might be seeing original version, but now it's only cut it version left. But when the line change, it's totally different because you need to change all of the movie and same about some old songs. So in internet, you can find the original songs and same information, the words for the songs and it's different. So we have quite a lot of questions why it's happened. Still no strict explanation, but I love some people. Yeah, basically, generally, I love the people, especially who not lazy to create article for 10 pages with discussion and make some uh, silly proofs about that's really tickling our brain. So some people said, Long time we're already living in a matrix in a computer program and program fails. That's why you can see some animals without head who live in or when people hunt on fish or rabbit and after cut it off and it was no heart, for example, it was like how it can be possible to live and so on. And as we live in a computer program, it might be a lot of lot of mistakes. It can be happen everything flying people, go through the wall, but they were already not talking about a ghost or like people saw two moons or two suns. Yeah, just type it. You can find a lot of videos, clouds and different shapes, but maybe it's some technology can do it. Who knows? So anything we ask, we have more questions than we have. And see if it's a computer reality what we discussed a little bit earlier, who creates the computer reality humans for, I don't know, just for use like a battery or other humans, or maybe not humans, another race, who knows some other creatures. Also I wrote some really, really small book, a science fiction book. It's like after Second World War, world is collapsed, it was atomic war and almost everything was destroyed and humanity almost died and everyone go to the basement and stay in the basement and it was impossible for keep so big amount of people feed them and so on so they decided just put them in a special boxes and put to virtual reality so they can live on a really really small amount of food and power and keep alive and everyone just connect to the huge soft what creates the reality and it's fine yeah power of quantum computers now can make incredible things still we don't know if it's uh, true or not but if it's true yeah they create a whole new world they have enough power so why not if some other creatures need us they can do too another really interesting theory they said like okay where is what so let's jump to Hinduism. Yeah, I like Hinduism and probably it where a lot of cool theories come from, from scientists who read the, in the 70s and 60s. So probably it where come uh, string theory, quantum physics and so on. So uh, we, came here like a souls, get certain experience and we develop our souls and we get to the more developed creatures, let's say like some level hierarchy of God, middle, higher and gods, what they describe, they're basically just the creatures who have like a little bit more power and they more developed and some of them, they even can create a different reality, they can create even the worlds whole universe and so on and basically we are might became the same we can create the worlds and different realities if we get to that level level closest to the god yeah maybe we're supposed to be a god who knows and 
we was kept because someone, some creatures need our souls, use like uh, energy. Some said they uh, can live as long as they want until they use the energy. Some said they just uh, use the souls for make of kind of hybrids to themselves, for change themselves and develop even higher and so on. So they easily can create different realities by their mind. So certain, let's say, rays of, you can call it whatever. Now a lot of different interesting information like, like insoids or reptilians, Draco, whatever. Of course, we cannot say it for sure they exist or not, what they can do, whatever. We just say it perhaps, why not? So they can create any reality and they catch us here and we just reborn in a fake reality again and again. And basically it's no much chance to escape of it because we really believe in this reality. Until we believe it real, it's not much options left for us. All right. So everything about uh, reality and fake reality. So if we do we jump into the mythology, they have really, really similar things, but they said what some of the spirits, they know to create the world. They create the dreams and they catch us in the dreams, but it doesn't make any changes as a program, computer program. We live in, it's some mind create a whole reality where we like imprisoned or maybe we got some certain lessons supposed to catch here for be even more developed because reality we see around is really cruel, quite dangerous, really unfair based on violence. And maybe if you against everything that's moving towards you, can grow your soul, be not commercial, gain your kindness, generosity, virtue, and be like a super creature and you not really care about all of this kind of pressure on yourself from everywhere around. You not believe to all of the bullshit and lie what we have on daily basis from everywhere. Radio, TV, online, big boards, whatever. Maybe this is a purpose, who knows? So yeah, not big difference. Computer reality, reality created by mind or just uh, we kept in someone's dream, in dream of Brahma, will be really interesting to figure out what it was. And all of these fakes, what we can see, like a false memory, when we was pretty sure it was certain action, but in real it not, and not only one person, same about the certain songs, concert, uh, famous books, proverbs, even proverbs, tales, or those movies, like especially Back to the Future, what was, bestseller, Star Wars and so on, where it have a lot of fans. I wouldn't say even not thousand, maybe million of fans. And they said like, damn, what just happened? Why it was changed. So it's really quite strange. Of course, we cannot use it as uh, evidence, but it brings us to ask more and more questions. So what's really going on? Uh, Another version for you, basically it's a lot of version and you can pick up any you like. So another version, um, after Second World War, it was a lot of, uh, let's say, different laboratories, where it's created different machines, like a time machines, and machines would change reality, let's say the make and matter and so on, kind of electronic alchemy or whatever and uh, it's really cool stuff from people from time jumpers 
some people, they even have blogs and explain how it was in the past and the future. I don't know, maybe just people want to bring some attention. But what's interesting, it not seems like commercial. So when everywhere, when people not try to get some money, it always, mm. so what's that about then? Okay, so time jumpers, they can jump forward and backward in time and have a huge organization, have they said, who help them. They have a certain missions for make certain changes, what is necessary. Uh, and they have like in a different time, different addresses and boxes where they can take everything they need and so on. Because you know, if you go 20 years back or forward, you cannot use the same currency or so on. Same documents and will be quite complicated for be around and not attract any attention, let's say. And uh, some people said, well, the project was stopped because we make so many damages in the time what we're not supposed to. And some other creatures that try to make it back for not make it worse. I mean, for not to break all of the reality or we can destroy it by ourselves. Yeah, it will be quite interesting finale. So, now the project is stopped, but all of the changes, what a lot of changes was made. So let's say someone go in the past, make some changes and affect everything to now. And it was made like hundreds times. It was like thousands and millions of change, what we can see right now. Yeah, for sure. If you make any changes 10 years back, you know, we can uh, imagine it. So yeah, it's pretty logical. Some kids will didn't born, some couple never met, something will never invent certain gadgets or whatever, and it's affect everything. So that's why in nowadays we have so different kind of effects of false memory or effect Mandela, or whatever you can call it, as, as you like more. And not only time jumps, also, let's say how Adam Zeland say it have a space of different variety. So we have a, this world and we have a millions of parallel world. We have you are and maybe I am as well. Some don't have. And in some closer parallel reality, we have a similar life. Maybe have a different girlfriend or boyfriend, or live in a different city, but everything pretty similar. And as far as we go, so personality might be different, and all of the changes might be different, and all of the world might be different. And sometimes, with some reason, we jump from one reality to another. It's still a series of parallel reality. And that's why we can come back to the home and we see it's another lock. Our door is another color and we just shocked. Yeah, basically uh, in the psychology we have some uh, syndromes when people said they was pretty sure they have a white cat, but now they have a black cat and they have no idea what just have happened and so on. So it's pretty cool theory on what was even some films made and some science fiction books and not even books, some uh, articles, what people said, and they tried to prove it still based on Hinduism from Vedic knowledge and so on. So yeah, we scoop quite a lot from there. And now the thing, the same, like an atom collider. So such huge construction like a pyramids, churches. Before it was a certain stations. It might be electric stations, and now it's a, just a cargo cult. So yeah, if you know, don't know what the cargo cult, probably I need to make another video. You can search online. It's something else what might blow your mind. So we just repeated from the past, and we have no idea what it was. For instance, let's say some aliens or creatures with a really, really high technology came to the Earth 30,000 years ago. 
and they have a headphones, they have a microphone up here, whatever, many other gadgets. And people have no clue what it was for, but they want to be like gods, especially if they have some power, uh, let's say like leaders in a certain tribe or city, whatever. They want to become like gods, okay? So they put the earrings, like headphones, they put a nickel bag instead of mic or whatever, but they don't know what's the real meaning. Same, they put a crown, but maybe the crown, it was like a device for transfer the souls, for communicate or whatever. So same, maybe they have a watch and after they put a bracelet instead of watch, because they don't know what real purposes is, but they want to be like. So maybe all of the churches, the pyramids and many other constructions that we have now, my had completely different purposes. Who know? And some of them was built quite a long time ago. Don't know by who and don't know what for. But still everything can happen. It's just a theory. So, what I try to say. Uh, a lot of mysterious construction we have in the world and maybe now like Adam Collider then can like uh, control the time, maybe control the meta, maybe can change the reality somehow and all of these changes make a lot of lot of effects and make a kind of syndrome of the false memory. We memorize the things of how it was before in real but now we change because all of this effect they done. So, it's just a food for the mind, what's really cool. And for real, we don't know anything. But if you will be interested in quite more, you can find uh, each topic, in each single topic, and you'll find a lot of information about Live Journal, the full of it. It's really cool. Well, I like a live journal because they not concerned everything you can write, it will be just straight there. Any super crazy theory or if you want to discuss uh, things about uh, religion or political or whatever, feel free. There are really a lot of stuff and really cool articles and a lot of videos now. So on any topic you can find quite a lot and just amazing. I really love it when people uh, bring quite a lot of evidence of course which you cannot prove but it's yeah it's quite interesting so basically yeah, if we have a free time why are we not supposed to read some interesting books not only novel or science fiction we can educate ourselves it will be cool for work less and put more time on the training and education like stalin was planned so people supposed to work like three four hours a day and another three four hours spending on training and self-education it would be quite cool but in my opinion anything would make your connection works faster when you find some information like that like oh damn like your brain start working finally maybe first time in a life who knows so i like all of that stuff to find what making cognitive dissonance inside my mind and like oh where it was before and so on yeah so quite happy to share with you a lot of interesting stuff yeah by the way if we're just doing some cardio exercises right now why not you put your hands off put some audiobooks or my silly talks or whatever just working hard burn your extra calories and fat and months later i'll see you super fit yeah so basically the theories i mentioned before it not stopped so same if we talk about the devices let's say some aliens other creatures creatures who live in another world higher or lower whatever they can change our reality too and they do it with a certain purposes so if we take the aliens with a super high technology they change the reality with a certain purpose and its effect our reality that's why we have different memories and not only single person like a lot of person may have a similar syndrome but the government usually 
just close eye on it. Probably with their own reasons as well. Or maybe they don't want to talk about something, who knows. It's same like you can find a lot of videos about UFO. A lot of fake for sure, but some. Maybe not, who knows. On my beliefs, it can't be like so many fake videos and what's the purpose to all those people put the fake videos. So some of them should be true. Like the man saw the UFO, make a video, whatever. But Aaron said, it's just a hallucination. Then a group of people saw the UFO, said to the newspaper, and the government said, oh, it's a group hallucination. Then in Mexico, on a celebration, a thousand of people saw like a lot of UFO, a lot of the around UFO, and same, a lot of video with a super bad quality, but still. And the government said, oh, yeah, it's big group of hallucination. That's it, simple explanation. So basically, on any action, on any proof of any video, on any article, you can give any explanation you want. It can be silly, or it can be quite smart. If they'll pay something to the scientist, as they'll need to spend some time for make really good explanation about the certain things. That's it. What about the beliefs? It's have in the shamanic world, in Hinduism, even in some part of Buddhism or even Tao. Some what we call like a hell or lower worlds with the creatures on a lower circle of development. And we like somewhere on the middle. So basically it's just a spawning point to develop ourselves to really high divine creatures. So probably not everyone have a good start right now. And higher world where more powerful creatures live. And for them, we like grass or maybe ants. So we really primitive, really have a small mind, live in a three-dimensional world. What for them, just even fake. So some of the creatures from lower or higher world, maybe not in the purpose, but they give a sign, uh, give some kind of uh, changes what affect our reality. And it's another explanation why we have all of us different memories about the source and things what happened before and now it's not real because something happened with higher worlds and we all connected all lower worlds maybe the creatures from another dimension tried to possess this world or connect it tighter or whatever make another influence so here might be suitable the stories when people saw the angels gods or maybe the stories when demons can come to our world when we do uh, some rituals, like spiritual rituals or whatever. And yeah, many mystics say it's quite dangerous. So if you read famous Yelena Blavatska, it explained quite a lot. And not only her, but I think in my opinion, she was one of the best in that scene. Still, many people said she was a fraud and so on, but she done so many mystery. So, question is still open on. But still, if you have a little bit of time, you can read it. I would say it's not really easy books for it. Same like if you decide to read Sri Ramana Maharshi, it's really difficult. Like Lao Tzu or Confuci or some of the Greek philosophers. Some of this really easy, especially everything what uh, connect to our daily base life. Same the problem, same routine. Nothing changed much actually by last thousands of years. But some people they go really deep, so quite difficult to understand. And probably same thing you need to read a few times at least. And after each page, you sit and think at least the five minutes for the just all of the information. Okay, so actually I don't wanna be too long. I just pick some from topic, put it on the top.
like uh, most famous theories. Of course, it's way more. You can find quite a lot if you're really interested in. You can check yourself. Do you have any false memories, any effects? Like uh, very famous, some of the brands and logos and signs and colors. Some people even said when they check on a map, the map was different, like shape of the map was different and so on. So yeah, if you have some, just write a comment. If you found some really, really cool videos, can share it as well, we'll be glad to see it. Or some really cool articles. Still, I think the live journal is the best. I read so much stuff up there and some people really cool. So I'm really glad some people's brain work like 200% more than it's supposed to make a super crazy theory. Maybe that's why I like it. So yeah, any cool article, book, you will find it on particular this topic, you can share it. Because like uh, every time we discuss a little bit different things, uh, uh, next time we'll talk about something else. So still you can comment what, I don't know, what you're interested for. I mean something really, really deep something what going out of mind so it will be quite interesting something impossible to prove or denied whatever and yeah i don't know i don't know about the quality of a picture or video just write something same as usual vs plus minus content in general if you're lazy to wrote anything for see some feedback at least any feedback, whatever. So I just think what we can talk next, because we have like, if not millions, probably thousands of really interesting topics. And we even can make a small connection between them. Let's say like uh, religion, maybe we can discuss about the God or shamanism, what's quite interesting as well. Hinduism or whatever and to each topic we can link it we can find the connection see how it works yeah very interesting now people discuss even about the shape of the earth like it's different shape some said flat and oval round some said it have no shape because all reality is fake can be any shape and it's interesting and some people they make a calculation about uh, highest and lowest point and make a 3D model. So basically it looked like this kind of stone. So maybe it looked like that in real. From people I know personally, no one go up there and check. Unfortunately, I don't have such ability as well, but I'm pretty sure like soon we will have so cool technology, maybe everyone can go to the other space, meet the friends on another planet, or maybe just open a portal and go to another dimension to learn something about culture of other creatures. Let's say six dimensional world was totally different to us and so on. But now <coughs> people what can go just to go to Astro, how they said it, dream world, and still make a lot of crazy stories about. Yeah, I made already one uh, video about the dreams, so it's quite cool. Also, we can talk about electricity, or maybe Nikola Tesla, or whatever. Some, uh, even not article, basically it's like manuals for the soldiers and special troops what made by some generals about the extreme uh, situation and everything, how to survive in the forest, in the cities, how to behave um, and like analyze the people action and so on. It's really, really interesting. So it might be some of the video I will keep in mind because I'm pretty sure we living in a high level of comfort 
even not high level, but if you have a shed, have a comfortable bed, food in your fridge, whatever, it's quite high already. And if we take everything off, oh, it will be totally different. I'll try to survive in the desert or in a weather where it's minus 60 Celsius degree or in the forest, in the jungles, in the caves, somewhere on the middle of the ocean. And yeah, some people been there and they survive, fortunately. So basically just to prove so everything possible. So it just sorts out loud what we else can discuss and talk about. All right, sounds so cool. Probably I need to be a bit hurry up. It seems like it will be rain soon. And last time I wasn't able to record any videos. I took it was a proof bag, so I just uh, done cardio under the rain. And then I go to the gym the next day, supposed to run and rain again. So I just run under the rain. Probably people thought I'm totally crazy. So if you can run under the snow, where you can on run under the rain. It's not a storm, so whatever. So for me, like not really convenient look for excuses. I made a plan. Okay, just stick to the plan. The plan go to the gym, go to the gym. Closed, okay, do something else. Plan to run, go to run. If it's rain, okay, doesn't matter. It's just the rain. And we're not made from sugar. Maybe someone, who knows, but... All right, so, yeah, don't forget to leave the feedbacks and for sure we'll discuss much more. And yeah, I'll do another video just only about uh, cardio. So on each time we can focus it on a certain things. And as I do like two, three times cardio per week, so We'll make some fancy video at least two, three times per week, let's say. But if you will desire to get some more, why not? Let's see. Oh, maybe. We can change the format. So basically, I make it like in a more test version, let's say. So we'll see how it looks like. I tested myself as well. I am not so cool in a public speech and I didn't prefer any paper. Just took information from my mind. Well, it's not so professional, I would say. But still, I just try this format and see how it is. Just thinking out loud, nothing more. And yeah. Once I done the cardio, I just walk in and do it like meditation. Just go inside myself, focus it on the inside, works how it feel like. Basically, you save a lot of energy. In this case, you came back from one hour run or a couple hour walk and you feel fine. And I heard from a couple of guys, the fitness models, they said, okay, we go for walk or run. In front, of course, you cannot talk much, but say when they walk and when they skip the conversation, quite interesting conversation, so they spend the more energy of it. Certainly, yeah, you make your brain work, you spend the more calories, yeah, but is it effect you lose more fat? I don't know. So we can taste it. I don't have much, but anyway, probably can see the difference in a month's time. So it's still working. Damn, stabilization is so bad. My apology. I didn't so to make such bad video. It's more like a radio, let's say. Yeah, and really cool. I see somewhere rain already start and it's no people around. And now it's look like evening time already. So probably I'll take shower outside. So, okay, can save the resources, not so bad as well. And yeah, some other videos done about uh, exercises, pumps, stretching, meditation. So you can give me a tip what you're interested in more because usually, yeah, I met some people that said, okay, just can you share your, okay, 
going back. Can you share like more experience about this one and that one and these things? But to be honest, I'm not expert in anything, just something, something what I'm training and got my own experience and get, get the tips. But I think it will be much better. I'll meet some guys like uh, who cool in dietary or like in the bodybuilding for years, uh, who fitness models last 10 years in yoga or whatever, and just make a simple talk, just basic conversation and most interesting questions to the expert. So on my opinion, it will be much more reasonable. And then I can uh, compare it to my own experience. You can compare it to your own experience and say, okay, I try these things or okay, let's try this system, that diet, this exercises, see how it works because I'm in a medical condition and I have six kids, so it's not really suitable for me or whatever, my heart is too weak, so I just need to make a, a stronger heart and so on. So, can be a million reasons and two million solutions on it. So, in my opinion, it will be just a bit, a bit better. And in other case, what I can suggest you, if you're really interested in something, can be literally anything. Find a few books and you'll be expert. So, I already tell before, like, I met some people who was seems really knowledgeable and then I just read like a few small books it can be about yoga or diet or whatever so if you're really interested about nutrition you don't need to be like a professor you can find a really few books different books because it might be a little bit different opinions from uh, different writers and a little bit different information what you can compare and you can read the books and your level of knowledge will be increased so much higher and you will be became an expert to yourself and if you still didn't found something you're looking for yeah you can still prolong the search but i'm pretty sure when you will do it by yourself when you will try to find information by yourself you'll compare by yourself you will memorize it uh, much much better and it will be much much better for use it and will be way more useful for sure Okay, I think for now it will be quite enough of my silly speech. Don't want to make you tired. And hopefully we'll see you on the next training, let's say tomorrow. So everyone, goodbye and be healthy.